So I'm getting ready to do some data binding demos and I realized that when I installed Visual Studio I forgot to install SQL Server Express first so that I could control the install. You see when Visual Studio is first installed it installs SQL Express for you uh, but it installs it using Windows Authentication by default. In fact if you've installed Visual Studio already you know that it doesn't even give you the option of installing for mix mode. If you search the web, you'll see all kinds of hacks telling you how to get around this little issue, but they all end up having you create a new SA user, SA1, for example, instead of giving SA a SQL password. Dumb. So here's the right way to do it. Now, if you've already installed Visual Studio, uh, one of the first things you're going to need to do is uninstall the SQL Server Express components, and that's what we're going to do first here. You'll go into uh, Programs and Features, or if you're not in Vista, that would be uh, Add Remove Programs. And we're going to go ahead and select that and scroll down to the Microsoft SQL Server 2005 component and uninstall that. Uninstall the SQL Express engine, uninstall the workstation components. and we'll just let that run for a while. One of the things that might happen while you're doing this uninstall is the uh, SQL Server Express may already be running. Uh, to get rid of that we're going to go into the control panel Administrative Tools services and we'll bring this window in where you can see it scroll down where it says SQL Server Express and we're going to stop this service. And now we'll go back to our installation and retry. Okay, our Uninstall of that service is done. Let's go back over to the Add Remove Programs. And you'll see we have a few more things here. We want to remove the SQL native client. And that should do it. There's two other here, the Microsoft SQL Server Setup Support Files and the Microsoft SQL Server VSS Writer. Um, those actually got uninstalled when we uninstalled the other two, so we don't need to worry about those. So let's close this window. And we can close the services window. Now, I'm looking at the, uh, the DVD for the uh, Visual Studio install. And we'll just go back up to the root here so you can see. A bunch of different things in here. WCU is where I'm going. And it's a few different installations. One is the .NET Framework. Um, if you haven't already installed .NET on your computer, you're going to want to do this first before you install SQL Server. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to do is uh, look for the MSDE installation uh, if it's not on a CD, then go look for it on the uh, Microsoft site uh, because the SQL Server Express installation is going to need that. Once you've done those two things, we're going to go into uh, this SSE directory, it stands for SQL Server Express, and we're going to install SQL Server Express using the EXE uh, instead of letting the Visual Studio installation do the install for us. Uh, this is going to give us a lot more control over the installation. 
So accept the licensing and terms. Next, go ahead and install. This is actually installing the installation components, not actually doing the install at this point. And now we're going to move on to the actual installation. To scan our computer's configuration, this actually takes a few minutes. And our first installation dialog, go ahead and hit next. This is actually going to uh, install the components for us so that we can do the installation. Detecting installed IIS takes a few minutes. Now here's the key whole process right here. Everything else is pretty much except the default for one other change that we need to make in these setups. But this hide advanced configuration options, we want to make sure that this is unchecked so that we can go in and make uh, changes to our setup. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go tell it I want to install everything here. So I'm installing all the client components, all the connectivity components, all the software development kit, um, just to make sure I've got everything that I could possibly need. We're going to leave the named instance at SQL Express. We're going to leave all this set up at the default. And this next screen right here, mixed mode, we want to set mixed mode on and we want to enter a password. Now, when we were doing the Microsoft Data Engine, you could set the password to blank, you could set the password to SA. In uh, SQL Server Express, you need a strong password. It's got to be at least a letter, a number, and a punctuation character, like a hyphen or a comma or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and set my password. To what Microsoft considers a strong password. And then we're going to leave the rest of these at the default. And go ahead and do our install. Now this is going to take a, a few minutes as well. All right, so that install right there took about five minutes. Uh, it's not going to take five minutes on the video because I'm going to pause out and cut most of that. Finish out the dialog, and we have SQL Server Express installed using the Explode authentication. Um, the whole elapsed time was about 21 minutes uh, from the start of this video to the end of this video. Um, obviously, uh, pieces are going to be cut when I go and put this actually up on the uh, on the web for you to take a look at. Um, so you're probably going to be looking at that five-minute demo uh, that actually took uh, 21 minutes or so.